Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Hematology and Blood Transfusion Science Lecture Series. Today, we are going to be continuing with our question and answer series. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Thank you for sending in your comments and your questions. If you are yet to subscribe, please feel free to hit the button now. Thank you very much for your support. Let us go straight to today's lecture. My name is Dr. Ifeyinwe Mary Ann Ikafo, a lecturer in the Department of Hematology and Blood Transfusion Science, Faculty of Medical Laboratory Science, College of Medical Sciences, University of Calabar. Today we'll be handling sample questions on clinical laboratory posting in hematology and blood transfusion science, part two. We have done part one, question and answer series. Today, we are looking at part two. If you have not listened to the part one, please do well to go to our YouTube channel, Hematology and Blood Function Science Lecture Series, and watch the video. I bet you, you will learn a lot. The first question today says, the full meaning of acronym EDTA is? Answer, ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. EDTA means ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. Why is EDTA the anticoagulant of choice for hematological tests? like complete blood count. Why is EDTA the anticoagulant of choice for hematological tests like complete blood count? Answer, EDTA allows the best preservation of cellular components and morphology of blood cells. EDTA allows the best preservation of cellular components and morphology of the blood cells. It preserves the cellular components of blood and also the morphology better than other anticoagulants. That is why EDTA is the best anticoagulant of choice in hematology for tests like complete blood counts which is the same thing as full blood counts. What is the mode of action of ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid? That is the EDTA. What is the mode of action of EDTA? Answer. EDTA strongly and irreversibly chelates calcium. EDTA strongly and irreversibly binds calcium to prevent blood from clotting. EDTA prevents blood from clotting by chelating calcium. Substances that prevent blood clotting, either in vivo or in vitro, are called what? Answer anticoagulants, substances that prevent blood clotting, either in vivo or in vitro, are called anticoagulants. What are the qualities that should be satisfied by grouping sera in order to give reliable and standard results? You are grouping sera, the anti sera you use in the laboratory for your cell grouping. What are the qualities that they must satisfy in order to give reliable and standard results? Answer. One, the antisolar must have high theta. And this refers to the agglutinating strength of the antisolar. Therefore, 
one quality that the anti serum must have is that the agglutinating strength must be high. The theta must be high. Number two, the anti serum must have good avidity. The anti serum must have good avidity. This particular quality defines the power of the serum to agglutinate red cells quickly and firmly. The serum must be able to agglutinate red cells quickly and firmly. The anti serum must be sterile. The anti serum must be free from any form of contamination. It must be specific. This is the ability of the antibody to react with one specific antigen. For example, you have your anti A anti serum, it must be capable to agglutinate A cells only. So, another quality of a good anti serum is that it must be specific. It must have broad reaction against subgroups of the same antigen. It must have broad reaction against subgroup of the same antigen. This means that a suitable anti serum must be able to detect the presence of weak subgroup of that particular antigen. For example, Anti A anti sera must be able to detect weak A antigens like A2 cells, A3 cells, and others. There must be absence of hemolysin. The a good anti sera must be free from hemolysin. There must be absence of fats. A good anti serum must be free from fats and should not be able to cause cellulose formation. Should not be able to cause cellulose formation. That is false agglutination. Lulose formation resembles agglutination. Some anti serum possesses this quality. So a good anti serum must be able to form true agglutination and not false eh? agglutination, which is Lulo's formation. Next question says, extracts of this seed are specific for A cells. Extracts of this seed are specific for A cells. Answer, Dolicus by Flores, Dolicus by Flores. The extract of this seed, Dolicus by Flores, is specific for A cells. What are plant hemagglutinins or lectins? What are plant hemagglutinins or lectins? Answer. These are extracts from plants or seeds which have red cell agglutinating properties. These are extracts from plants or seeds which have red cell agglutinating properties. There are some extracts from plant or seeds that possesses the ability to agglutinate red cells. They can be used to prepare anti -serum. And this particular extracts are called lectins or heme agglutinins. Example is Delicus by Flores that is specific for A cells. It agglutinates A cells. Anti-B lectin from fungi is called Anti-B lectin from fungi is called answer Malasmus oregis. Marasmus oregis. Anti B le lectin from fungi is called Marasmus oregis. Extracts from snails can be used as quick anti serum. Extracts from snails can be used as anti A. 
enzymes that can be used in blood transfusion science are? Can you mention the enzymes that can be used in blood transfusion science? Answer. We have papain. This papain is extracted from purple fruits. Two, so we have bromelain. Bromelain is extracted from pineapple. Three, we have fisin. Fisin is extracted from figs. Four, we have trypsin. Trypsin is extracted from pancreas. These are enzymes that can be used in blood transition science. Papain, bromelain, fisin, and trypsin. What are storage lesions? What are storage lesions? Answer. Storage lesions are a set of biochemical and biomechanical changes which occur during storage of blood products, leading to decreased viability of the cells and its physiological functions. These are a set of chemical changes or biomechanical changes that occur when blood products are stored, leading to decreased viability of the cell and their physiological function. Storage lesions. Three stages of blood coagulation. We have one, the formation of active principle, which is active thromboplastin. Two, conversion of prothrombin to thrombin. Three, conversion of fibrinogen to fibrin. The three stages of block aggression, the formation of axis principle, the active thromboplastin, conversion of prothrombin to thrombin, conversion of fibrinogen to Fibrin. Removal of fibrin is termed the process of removing fibrin from circulation is termed what? Fibrinolysis. It's called fibrinolysis. In hemoglobin electrophoresis, which of the following can be used as lysing agents? A, we have Rapkin solution. Two, we have 1% acetic acid. C, we have tox solution. D, we have former citrate. Answer, Rapkin solution. Rapkin solution can be used as a lysing agent in hemoglobin electrophoresis. Mention the lectins that are sources of anti-H. Mention the lectins that are sources of anti-H. Answer, Euless Europius and Lotus Tetragnolobus. These are lectins that can be used as sources for anti-H. Euless Europius and Lotus Tetragnolobus. Mention reasons why we use anticoagulant preservative solution in blood transition science. Why do we use anticoagulant preservative solution in blood transition science? Answer. One, to ensure the functional viability, integrity, and stability of red blood cell. Remember, in blood transfusion science, we remove uh, blood and blood products from their natural habitat, which is the human body, and now stored in the blood bank for food of transfusion to patients that need them. And in doing this, most times, we put, incorporate into the blood bag anticoagulant 
preservative solutions. And we do this in order to, one, to ensure the functional viability, that is to maintain the functional viability, integrity, and stability of the blood cells. One. Number two, to inhibit growth of microorganisms. These anticoagulant preservative solutions help to maintain the functional viability, integrity, and stability of the blood cells. Two, they also help to inhibit growth of microorganisms. They prevent clotting of the products. They prevent clotting of the blood products. And they help to preserve the life and survival of red blood cells so as to have the maximum post transfusion survival in the recipient. They preserve the life and survival of red blood cells so as to have the maximum post transfusion survival in the recipient. What are the functions of citrate dextrose and adenine in CPDA? CPDA is an anticoagulant used in blood transfusion science. And the question here says, what are the functions of citrate and dextrose and adenine that is found in CPDA? Answer, citrate. Citrate acts by chelating calcium. Citrate helps to prevent a clotting of blood by chelating calcium. It prevents coagulation by interfering with calcium dependent steps in the coagulation cascade. So the work of citrate in CPDA is it chelates calcium and in doing so prevent blood from clotting. Dextrose. Dextrose is necessary for the metabolism of stored red blood cells. It provides nutrients for the red cells. It pass, it's passes from plasma into the red cells and is utilized for energy production. The dextrose that is in the CPDA is necessary for the metabolism of stored red blood cells. It provides nutrients for the red cells. It passes from plasma into the red cells and it is utilized for energy production. Now the principal pathway through which this is done is what we call anaerobic eh? Glycolysis. The principal pathway through which this the dextrose is being utilized to produce energy for the red cells in the stored blood is what anaerobic air glycolysis. Adenine. Adenine in CPDA improves the viability of the red cells. It improves the viability of the red cells. Next question says, acid citrate dextrose preserve blood for how many days? Acid citrate dextrose, that is ACD, an anticoagulant used in blood transfusion science preserves blood for how many days? Answer, 21 days. It preserves blood for 21 days. Citrate phosphate dextrose, which is CPD, CPD preserve stored blood for how many days? Answer, CPD preserve blood for 28 days. What are additive solutions? What are additive solutions? Answer, additive solutions are preserving solutions that are added to red blood cells after removal of the plasma. Remember, when we are preparing red cell concentrates, when we are preparing red cell concentrates, that is as part of component therapy, what we normally do is we remove plasma, we extract only red blood cells. In order to preserve the viability of red cells and make the, the red cells less viscous so that they can be transfused, they are kept in additive uh, solutions. So additive solutions are preserving solutions that are added to red blood cells after removal of plasma. The reasons for their development is 
Removal of the plasma component during the preparation of red cell concentrates removed much of the nutrients needed to maintain red blood cell during storage. So this additive, additive solution provides these nutrients. And also the additive solution also helps to overcome the problem of high viscosity or red blood cell concentrate so that you'll be able to transfuse the red cells in the fluid state. What is the function of mannitol in SAGM additive solution? SAGM is a form of additive solution used in preserving red cell concentrate. Now the question is, what is the function of mannitol in SAGM additive solution? Answer, mannitol in SAGM additive solution acts as a membrane stabilizer and reduces hemolysis to acceptable level. It acts as a membrane stabilizer and reduces the hemolysis to acceptable level. SAGM can preserve blood for how many days? SAGM as additive solution can preserve blood for how many days? Answer, 42 days. Can preserve blood for 42 days. So red cell concentrates preserved in SAGM can actually last for 42 days. Adult blood bag can contain how many meals of blood? Answer. Adult blood bag contains 450 mL of blood. The anticoagulant that also known as questrin is the anticoagulant that is also known as questrin is answer ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid, which is EDTA, can also be called sequestrin. Mentioned at least three anticoagulant preservative solutions that are used in blood transfusion science. Number one, answer, acid citrate dextrose, which is called SCD, that preserves blood for 21 days. Citrate phosphate dextrose, CPD, that preserves blood for 28 days. Then we have citrate phosphate dextrose adenine, CPD, that preserves blood for 35 days. Blood anticoagulant ratio for a pint of blood for transfusion is? Answer. Volume of anticoagulant preservative solution is one volume of the anticoagulant to seven volumes of blood. One volume of anticoagulant to seven volume of collected blood. Pediatric blood bag can contain how many mils of whole blood? Pediatric blood bag can contain 250 mils of whole blood. How many mils of anticoagulant preservative solution is present in adult blood bag? Answer, the adult blood bag contains 63 mils of anticoagulant. Citrate phosphate dextrose adenine preserve blood for how many days? Answer, 35 days. CPDA preserve blood for 35 days. Additive solution that can be used in blood transfusion science is? Answer, SAGM. And SAGM means saline adenine glucose Monitor, saline adenine glucose monitor, SAGM. Remember, when we are preparing red cell concentrates, we remove the plasma components of the whole blood. And in doing this, we remove the source of nutrients for the red cells. To maintain the viability of these red cells, we need to introduce what we call additive solution. And additive an example of this additive solution is SAGM, which means saline adenine glucose 
Manetton. Cold blood collection bag contains how many mils of blood? Cold blood collection bag contains how many mils of blood? Answer, 150 mils of blood. Cold blood collection bag contains 150 mils of blood. Anticoagulant of choice for coagulation studies in hematology is the anticoagulant that we use in our sample bottle for coagulation studies in hematology is answer 3.13% trisodium citrate. 3.13% trisodium citrate. Glass bottles that we have previously used for collection of blood products for transfusion is known as answer MRC transfusion bottles. The MRC transfusion bottles. What are different types of ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid EDTA that can be used as anticoagulant? Answer we have dipotassium EDTA at 1,650 gram per liter. This is very, very soluble and is mostly used in hematology for complete blood count. Disodium EDTA at 108 gram per liter, it is less soluble. And dilithium EDTA at 160 gram per liter, fairly soluble. This particular EDTA, lithium, dilithium EDTA is mostly used in clinical chemistry, that is chemical pathology for determination of electrolytes like calcium, sodium, and potassium. The two pathway of blood calculation are, answer, intrinsic pathway and extrinsic pathway. Intrinsic pathway and extrinsic eh, pathway. Which of the following can be used as a diluting fluid? Which of the following can be used as a diluting fluid? We have 3.8% sodium citrate, 4.8% trisodium citrate, 10% EDTA, 2.2% ammonium oxalate. Answer is A. 3.8% sodium citrate and is used in ESR, dilution of blood for ESR, erythrocyte segmentation rates. Dye used for demonstration of reticulocytes for reticulocyte counts is azopi, ginseng stain, methylene blue, brilliant crystal blue. Answer is D. Brilliant crystal blue is used for the ticlocyte eh? count. The common screening tests for blood donors are we have, we screen for our blood donors, we screen for hepatitis B, we screen for hepatitis C, we screen for HIV 1 and HIV 2, and we screen for syphilis. During blood donation, we must screen our donors for hepatitis B, hepatitis C, HIV 1 and 2, and syphilis. Color code for AHG. AHG means anti-human globulin, anti-serum B, bovine albumin respectively are A, green, yellow, straw, B, blue, green, yellow, C, green, straw, yellow. D, green, yellow, yellow. Answer is A, green, yellow, straw. So the AHG is green in color. Anti B is yellow. Why bovine albumin is straw. That's their color code. The reticulocyte count reference range for adults is the reticulocyte count reference rate for adults is answer 0.5% to 2.5%. The reticulocyte count reference range for adults is 
0.5% to 2.5%. Three types of embryonic hemoglobin are, we have one, hemoglobin GOA1, two, hemoglobin GOA2, hemoglobin Portland. These are three types of embryonic hemoglobin. Hemoglobin GOA1, hemoglobin GOA2, and hemoglobin Portland. Normal percentage of hemoglobin A2 found in adult blood is, normal percentage of hemoglobin A2 found in adult blood is, answer, 1.5 to 3.2 percent. 1.5 to 3.2 percent. Normal percentage of hemoglobin F found in adult blood is, normal percentage of hemoglobin F found in adult blood is, answer, 0.5 percent to 0.8 percent. 0.5 to 0.8 percent. That is the percentage of hemoglobin F found in adult blood. Heme is made up of protoporphyrin and iron. Protoporphyrin and iron makes up a heme component of the hemoglobin. Breakdown of red blood cell replace. Breakdown of red blood cells replace. Answer. Iron, and this iron is recycled. Iron is recycled. Breakdown of red cell replace one iron, two protoporphyrin, which is broken down to bilubin, and three globins, which is converted to amino acid. So breakdown the catabolism of red blood cells gives. Basically, three things iron, protoporphyrin, and globins. The iron is recycled. The protoporphyrin is broken down to bilubin. Okay, the bilubin conjugates with gluconolic acid and gives rise to either stacoblinogen or stacoblin and urobrinogen or uroblin, which are excreted either through urine and feces. The globin is now converted to amino acid and reused. Factors that are peculiar to intrinsic pathway of coagulation are, factors that are peculiar to intrinsic pathway of coagulation are, answer, factor 12, factor 11, factor nine, and factor eight. These four factors are peculiar to intrinsic pathway of coagulation. Factors that are peculiar to extrinsic pathway of coagulation are factor, factors that are peculiar to extrinsic pathway of coagulation are answer, factor three and factor seven. Factors that are found in the common pathway of coagulation are answer, Factor 10, factor 5, factor 2, factor 1, and factor 13. The gas that is released as part of red blood cell catabolism is answer carbon monoxide. A little bit of carbon monoxide is released as part of catabolism of protoporphyrin as part of catabolism of protoporphyrin, which is part of him. Remember, him is made up of protoporphyrin and iron. Why I, protoporphyrin is being catabolized, a little bit of carbon monoxide is released. Supervital staining is de deployed in the following test. Supervital staining is deployed in the following test. Total white cell count. Y cell differential counts, demonstration of LE cells, reticulocyte count. Answer is D, reticulocyte count. What concentration of 
methanol is required in the preparation of Leishman's stem? A, 100%, B, 69%, C, 75%, D, 90%. Answer, A, 100%. The pH of trees in the table for use for cellulose acetate hemoglobin electrophoresis is 7.0, 6.8, 8.6, Answer, C, 8.6. The pH of trees in the table buffer used for cellulose acetate hemoglobin electrophoresis is 8.6. Philadelphia chromosome is one of diagnostic marker for, Philadelphia chromosome is one of the diagnostic marker for, answer, chronic myeloid leukemia. Presence of Philadelphia chromosome is one of the diagnostic marker for chronic myeloid leukemia. EDTA is used at a concentration of answer, 1.5 milligram to two milligram per mil of blood. The concentration of EDTA used in hematology is 1.5 milligram to 2 milligram per mil of blood. Osmotic fragility is useful in diagnosis of, osmotic fragility is useful in the diagnosis of thalassemia. B, inflammation. C, sickle cell. D, hereditary spherocytosis. Osmotic fragility test is useful in the diagnosis of, answer, hereditary spherocytosis. D, hereditary spherocytosis. Pro prolonged bleeding time may be seen in, A, vascular abnormality, rest cell abnormality, White cell abnormality, iron deficiency, answer, vascular abnormality. A, prolonged bleeding time may be seen in vascular abnormality. In investigation of hemorrhagic disease of the newborn, A, indirect comb test is performed on the father's sample. B, Indirect cum test is performed on the mother's sample. C, indirect cum test is performed on the baby's sample. D, direct cum test is performed on the mother's sample. In the investigation of hemolytic disease of the newborn, answer, indirect cum test is performed on the mother's sample. The correct thing is B, Indirect cum test is performed on the mother's sample, while direct cum test is performed on the baby's sample. Direct cum test is performed on the baby's sample, while indirect cum test is performed on the mother's sample. The concentration of calcium chloride for calculation studies is, answer, 0 0.025 mole per liter, 0 0.025 mole per liter. The reagents required for hemolysis screening tests include A, anti-A, B, anti-B, C, standard ABO cells, D, albumin. Answer, C, standard ABO cells. The approved age range for blood donation is 18 to 65 years, 25 to 45 years, 19 to 70 years, 18 to 70 years. Answer A, 18 to 65 years. 
the approved age range for blood donation is 18 to 65 years. Mention storage lesions that can occur in stored blood over time. What are the storage lesions that can occur in stored blood over time? Answer. Red blood cells, there may be loss of ability to metabolize glucose. When blood are stored over time, there may be loss of ability to metabolize glucose. There will be decrease in ATP and also 2 3 diphosphoglycerate levels. There will be decrease in ATP and 2 3 diphosphoglycerate levels. The pH may become acidic. There will be poor functioning of sodium potassium pump, loss of cellular potassium and gain of sodium. There will be alteration in oxygen transport. Loss in membrane repeat may affect the formability and osmotic fragility of the red cells. Morphology changes may occur. There may be changes to echinocytes and also to spherocytes. Then with platelets, platelet may be the loss of discourse shape. Microscopic platelets and aggregate formation of platelets. There might be fragmentation of platelets and, of course, disintegration and formation of platelets in form of this, this formation of platelets in the form of balloon forms. The appropriate number of times to wash cells during electrophoresis is once, two times. As you feel appropriate, D, until a clear spanatant is obtained. Answer, D, until a clear spanatant is obtained. The function of buffer of pH 6.8 in Lesman's 10 is, so one, create a neutral environment for each dye to be expressed, Allow for only eosine dye to stain cells. Allow for only methylene blue to stain cells. Permit eosine to stain nuclear components of the cell. Answer A, create a neutral environment for each dye to be expressed. In the presence of normal platelet number, and normal platelet function. A prolonged bleeding time is most likely due to factor eight deficiency, factor five deficiency, capillary malfunction, factor nine deficiency. Answer, factor five deficiency. The confirmation test for thrombocytopenia is visual platelet count, Bleeding time test, PFT 100 test, platelet agglutination test. Answer, visual platelet count. Sodium metabisulfate is a reagent for quit assay. One, solubility test, platelet function test, platelet aggregation test, cycling test. Answer, D, cycling test. It is sodium metabisulfate is used in circling test. A diagnostic test for hereditary spherocytosis is erythrocyte sedimentation rate. This is PD assay. Met hemoglobin elution test. Osmotic fragility test. Answer is D. Osmotic fragility test. A diagnostic test for Hereditary spherocytosis is osmotic fragility test. The anticoagulant of choice for osmotic fragility test is EDTA, heparin, ammonium oxalate, trisodium citrate. Answer B, heparin. LISS in blood structure science means low ionic strength saline, leukocyte immune sensitized serum, 
low ionized serum and saline? None of the above. Answer is A. LISS in blood transfusion science means low ionic strength saline. Anisocytosis may be due to presence of cells like A. Acanthocytes, smear cells, macrocytes, poiclocytes. Answer is C, macrocytes. Remember, anisocytosis denotes discrepancy in red blood cell sizes, and it can be macrocytes or microcytes. So in this case, macrocytes is the answer, C. Mention the samples you need for cross match for blood transfusion in neonates. Mention the samples you need for cross match for blood transfusion in neonates. A, the answer is you need baby's blood sample. For you to cross match a blood for a neonate, you need the baby's blood sample, you need the mother's blood sample, and you need the donor's blood sample. The baby's blood sample, mother's blood sample and the donor's blood sample. Remember, you need the mother's sample because the baby does not have his or her own antibody. The antibody present in the baby belongs to the mother. Therefore, any blood that must be given to the baby must be compatible with the baby and also must be compatible with the mother and also must be compatible with the donor. So you need the baby's blood sample, mother's blood sample, and the donor's blood sample. Phosphate, as a component of anticoagulant for blood transfusion, serves as phosphate as a component of anticoagulant for blood transfusion, serves as answer. Phosphate helps in maintaining 2,3-diphosphoglycerate eh, level. Phosphate helps in maintaining the level of 2,3-DPG diphosphoglycerate. Functional integrity, which is ability to transport oxygen of the red blood cell is maintained by 2,3-DPG. And phosphate helps in maintaining the 2,3-DPG level in the stored blood. Myeloporosidase 10 is usually positive in the following cells. One, neutrophils. B, myelocytes. C, myeloblasts. D, lymphoblast. Answer, neutrophils. The blood product of choice for severe anemic child is A, red blood cell concentrates, B, cryoprecipitates, C, whole blood, D, fresh frozen plasma, E, Freeze dried plasma. Answer A, red blood cell concentrate. In compatibility tests, the blood should not be transfused when there is reaction in one, saline at room temperature only, saline at 37 degrees only, any of the tubes. ICT at 37 degrees only. Answer, C, any of the tubes. When you are doing compatibility testing and there is reaction in any of the tubes, the blood should not be transfused. Controls for Coom tests include A, complement sensitized cells, A, B, RHD negative cells, Check cells or IgG sensitized cells, O positive cells, A negative sensitized cells. Answer C. Check cells or IgG sensitized cells is the control for Coombs test. The principle of indirect Coombs test is adopted in the following test, except Resist the confirmation test, standard cell preparation, investigation of transfusion reaction, compatibility test, antigen antibody identification. Answer B, standard cell preparation. 
The principle of indirect Coombe test can be utilized in every other test listed here, except the preparation of a standard cell. So B is the answer, standard cell preparation. Romanowski's stand does not include a Jimsa stand, drum stand, right stand, McGrawan stand. Answer, Jimsa stand. Jimsa stand is not a Romanowski stand. Planet for plasma for coagulation acid is thought frozen, if not analyzed immediately to preserve which factor? A, factor five. Factor six, factor seven, and factor 18. Answer A, factor five. In GCSPD screening test, methylene blue acts as oxidizing agent, reducing agent, visualizing agent, diluting agent. Answer is B, reducing agents. In GCSPD screening and the methylene blue acts as reducing agents. During Lishman staining, differentiation takes place after dilution of buffer, before adding buffer, when a drying slide, when cleaning back of the slide. Answer. A, after addition of buffer. The ultimate goal of compatibility testing is to rule out ABO blood group discrepancy, absence of detectable irregular antibodies, both A and B. Answer is C, the ultimate goal of compatibility testing is to rule out ABO blood group discrepancy and absence of any detectable irregular antibodies. Anti A and B may be used for typing all group O donors. It can also be useful in detecting weak subgroups of A, weak subgroups of B, weak subgroups of A and B, Bombay phenotype. Answer is C, weak subgroups of a and B. An example of a technical error that can result in an ABO discrepancy is cell suspension either too heavy or too light, acquired B phenomenon, missing isoagglutinin, acryflavin antibodies, A. A. Answer is a, cell suspension either too heavy or too light can bring technical error in ABO grouping. Well group antigens that can be found on the surface of red blood cells, organs, tissue, and body fluid are Rh blood group antigens, MNS blood group antigens, ABO blood group antigens, KEL blood group antigens. Answer is C, ABO blood group antigens. ABO blood group antigens can be found on the surface of the red cells. They can also be found on the tissues, organs, and also body fluid. Resistance antibodies react best at what temperature? Room temperature, 18 degrees Celsius, 15 degrees Celsius, 37 degrees Celsius. Answer is D, 37 degrees Celsius. Resistance antibodies react best at 37 degrees Celsius. Remember, they are warm antibodies. They are acquired antibodies. They are not natural occurring antibodies. They are immune antibodies, and they react best at 37 degrees Celsius. What type of blood should be given in an emergency transfusion when there is no time to type recipient sample? What type of blood should be given in an emergency transfusion when there is no time for, 
to five recipients eh? sample. One, O, RSG negative whole blood. O, RSG positive whole blood. O, RSG positive packed cells. O, RSG negative packed cells. Answer is A, O, RSG negative whole blood. When performing ABO tube cell grouping technique, at what concentration are red cell suspension and saline prepared? 2 to 5%, 20 to 40%, 20 to 30%, 2 to 10%. Answer is A, 2 to 5%. What antigen is found in 85% of white population and is always significant in transmission science? Little d antigen, little e antigen, big D antigen, and big E antigen. Answer is C, big D antigen. Cells carrying a weak D antigen requires the use of what test? demonstrate its presence. Cells carrying a weak D antigen requires the use of what test to demonstrate its presence. One, A, indirect antiglobulin test. B, direct antiglobulin test. C, microplate test. D, warm autoabsorption test. Answer is A. Indirect antiglobulin test. Answer is A, indirect antiglobulin test. One of these is not a precautionary measure to be taken when performing ESR. A, there must be no circle bubbles in the Western Green segmentation tubes. B, the tubes must be placed at absolute vertical position, 90 degrees. Tests must not be performed in a direct sunlight. Blood containing the slightest traces of the clot can be used. Answer is D. Blood containing the slightest traces of a clot can be used. That is not a precautionary measure. You are not supposed to use any blood that contains even little clots. It shouldn't be used to perform ESR. Which one of these is not a quality control measure taken while preparing tox fluid? Filtering the tox fluid from time to time, labeling and dating the reagents so prepared, storing the reagents in the refrigerator, do not preparing and storing the reagents in a plain container. Answer D, not preparing and storing the reagents in a plain container. The function of methanol in Leishman stain is fixing of cells, staining of cells, enhances the ability of cells to pick up dyes, fixing of smear to the slides, all of the above. Answer is A, fixing of cells. The function of methanol in Leishman stain is fixing of cells. Mention cells that are myeloperoxidase positive. Mention cells that are myeloperoxidase positive. The cells that are myeloperoxidase positive are neutrophilic granulocytes, except blast forms. Neutrophils are always myeloperoxidase positive, except the blast forms. The blast forms are not myeloperoxidase positive. Eosinophils are also myeloporosidase positive. Monocytes are also myeloporosidase positive, except the blaster forms. Basophils are weakly positive. Mention cells that are myeloporosidase negative. The cells that are myeloporosidase negative are mostly lymphocytic cell series and erythrocyte cell series. Lymphocytes are always myeloporosidase negative and also 
erythrocytic cell series are also myeloporosidase cell negative. The wavelength for measuring hemoglobin using spectral photometer is A, we have 540 nanometer, 545 nanometer, 520 nanometer, 550 nanometer, 440 nanometer. Answer is A, 540 nanometer. The title of LTA should be at least Answer, 1 and 512. The title of anti-A should be at least 1 and 512. Those that have A or B substance in their body fluid are called, those that can produce A or B substance in their body fluid are called, A, Bombay, two, B, non-secretors, C, secretors, D, acceptors. Answer is C, secretors. Secretors are those that can, they have the capacity to produce A or B substances in their body fluid, like saliva. Why non-secretors are those that cannot, they cannot produce A or B substances in their body fluid. The title of anti-B against B cells should be, answer, at least one in two, five, six. One in two, five, six. Blood group system that serves as a receptor for plasmodium for separum is Kell blood group, RH, MNS, Duffy. The answer is MNS. The antigens in MNS blood group system serves as a receptor for plasmodium for separum. What are the functions of enzymes and bovine albumin as enhancement reagent? Answer, LISS, which is low ionic saline strength, a reagent used in blood transfusion science, increases the rate of antibody binding to antigen. It enhances the rate of antibody binding to antigens. Albumin reduces zeta potential. Albumin reduces zeta potential. Bovine albumin that we use in transfusion science reduces zeta potential. It is able to dissipate electric charge and therefore disperse the ionic cloud surrounding the red cells allowing the cells to become more closely associated, making it possible for IgG or incomplete antibodies to cause agglutination. Enzyme enhances the reactivity of certain antibodies, like enzymes enhance the reactivity of certain antibodies, like antibodies in RH blood group system, KID blood group system, PI blood group system, P1 blood group system, Lewis blood group system, and I blood group system. And on the other hand, enzymes treatment destroy and depress the reactivity of antigens in Duffy blood group system and MNS blood group system. The net negative charge which the red cells carry is due to ionization of the carboxy groups of the sialic acid present at the cell surface. As a result of proteolytic action, some enzymes are able to liberate sialic acid residues from the cell membrane. In addition to affecting some antibodies and antigens in different blood group system, they also help in liberating their sialic acid residues from the cell membrane. This has the effect of decreasing the negative charge of the red cell surface, thus allowing cells to approach one another more closely. IgG antibodies are then able to bring agglutination by this effect. An action of enzyme also increases the accessibility of some antigen sites by removal of sialic acid resi residue, increases reactivity of some antigens to their antibodies by dissipating their Serous acid there, 
residues by removing sialic acid residues. And when this is done, agglutination is enhanced. Special antibody made by those who are RH now is the special antibody made by those who are RH now is anti RH now, anti RH 29, anti RH 35, anti RH antibody. Answer is B, anti RH 29. The special antibody made by those who are RH now is anti RH 29. Blood group system that serves as a receptor for plasmodium vivus and plasmodium nolesi is MNSS blood group system, Kel, Dolphy, Diego. Answer is Dolphy. The antigens in Dolphy blood group system serve as a receptor for plasmodium vivus and plasmodium nolesi. Therefore, this type of malaria parasite are found in areas where these the antigens are predominant. Thank you very much. I'm sure you've learned a lot from this episode. Please feel free to send your questions in. And if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, this is the right time to do that. Thank you and thank you.